Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect with Postgres SQL database from your Node.js program. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one console project that will connect with Postgres database. Okay. So the first thing that you should do is make sure that you have Postgres installed on your operating system and also make sure that your Postgres service is running. Okay, so I have Postgres here and I'm going to start the Postgres service by clicking on this. Once I do that, it will run that service in the background. So I'll be able to make queries and also access the database. Okay, so make sure that this service is on. Okay, while you connect with your database from Node.js. Okay, next thing make sure that you have this node postgres package installed simply copy this npm install pg then open your command prompt and then paste this or type npm space install space pg this will install postgres package on your system make sure that you are either saving this with double dash save or you are simply installing for entire system using G, okay, not dash U, it's dash G, okay. So once you do that, the package will be installed also Postgres service running in the background. Next thing, open, let's say text editor such as Visual Studio Code, Notepad++ or Sublime Text, either one of them will do and then type in constant and within curly bracket type capital p bold and then capital c client next equal to sign require and then within that bracket pg okay then another constant then we are going to have connection string okay so this connection is needs to be capital, okay? And I'm gonna use equals to, and within single quote, I'm going to type in Postgres SQL, then colon, double dash, which are forward dash, okay? So, sorry, forward slash, okay? Then Postgres is my username, and demo one two three four is my password at local host okay and port number five four three two in your case it will be same or different then test bb is my database name okay these two things you need to set up before going ahead by creating client or pool so in this example we are going to create client so start with creating constant name it client okay then we're going to call new and then capital client and then inside that simply use curly bracket inside this curly bracket okay we are going to type in connection string okay equals to this colon connection string again and we can use client here to connect next thing we are using client.connect and after that we have to use client.query okay and inside that i'm just going to call for select then star from let's say company which is my table name and here i'm going to use error and parameters okay and then i'm gonna check in console for error and response okay so this resource response and here i'm gonna end the client as well Okay, so what we have done so far is we basically initiated our Postgres package, created a pool and client, 
and then connection string that contains username password um, your host then port and database okay then when you are creating a client instance make it constant then call for connection string map it with your earlier declared connection string then go for current connect method invoke that then call for query method within which you can add query then error and response okay then log that to your console and then client dot end to end your client connection okay now let's just open our command prompt okay now here what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to change into another directory where i have this sample.js i'm going to hit enter and it returns me with the data that i asked for within this query which is select from company and it shows me company data with rows first row second third with data for name and age so person in the company is paul rob Brittany, with their respective ages also it returns with message such as fields within your database shows column id data type id the respective information for each of these row columns okay so this was about row and these fields are about columns so id is one column name and age and within rows this data okay so instead of saying columns it says field okay and considering this is given in json type of format you will notice a bit difference compared to mysql or maria db and others okay so this was a simple example to show you how to create instance of client and then connect your node.js program with postgres